Family members, co-workers and friends tonight held a candlelight vigil for the Osage Beach police officer who died over the weekend in the line of duty. Mourners tell KRCG 13's Mark Slavitt, 33 year old Felicia Carson will never be forgotten. Officer Felicia Carson died on Saturday during a vehicle chase. Carson died after her police car hit a tree and caught fire. The candlelight vigil at the Osage Beach Police Department honored Officer Carson's life and service to her community. Dozens of community members joined Carson's family and friends and paid their respects. She was a person that was outgoing, uh, happy to work in the community. Uh, she was a motivated officer. She wanted to go out and do good in the community and help other people, and that's what she did every day she was here. Officer Carson died Saturday morning during a high-speed chase with 23-year-old Christopher Waymeyer. Carson's police car crossed the center line of Route A east of Toronto Springs Park Road and skidded off the road before catching on fire. Prosecutors charged Waymeyer with a Class A felony for aggravated fleeing a stop resulting in death. And based on the Valentine's Law that went into effect on August 28th, Waymeyer could face life in prison. Um, they're doing the best they can. We have these officers set up with uh, services that are available for them to go talk to um, and get help. Um, we encourage them to talk to these their mental health individuals and uh, get treatment if they need it. And it, it's a way of support. A visitation for Officer Carson is set for 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Thursday at the Lodge of the Four Seasons, with funeral services following immediately. Osage Beach City Hall will be closed early Thursday to allow city employees to attend the funeral. Officer Carson leaves behind a husband and six children. Reporting in Osage Beach, Mark Slavitt, KRCG 13. A fund has been established for anyone wishing to donate to the family of Officer Carson. You can make a donation by finding this story on our website, krcgtv.com.